Hi, we're going to give you an overview of using BigBlueButton from a viewer or student's perspective. When you first log into BigBlueButton, you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner there's a Users module that shows you the list of users that are in the current session. As people join, they'll appear there. You can see the professor has joined, and they have an icon to indicate that they're the presenter. BigBlueButton has the ability to chat back and forth, so you can type a message into the All tab, and all participants in the session will see it. So here I've typed in a message, hi professor, but let's say I want to send the professor a private chat. So you, here you can open up a new tab and you can just type a message in and only the professor will see it. And they can also respond back as well. You'll see the message here. And this isn't visible to anybody else, but if somebody does post to the group forum, you can just click on the all tab back and see the message. So to join the audio, you click on the headset icon in the upper left hand corner. Now you may see this appear automatically if your session is set to automatically join audio. To join you'll have to click allow to allow flash to access your microphone and you can also click remember so you don't have to click it again. In the audio settings dialog box you can click the button to test your speakers. You should hear the audio come out through your headset. And let's try joining the audio. When you join as you speak you should be able to see the uh, microphone icon highlight. And you have the ability to mute and unmute yourself just by clicking the mute or unmute button in the upper left hand corner. If you don't see any energy on your microphone or others say that they can't hear you, you can just click the headset icon to leave the voice conference. Click it again to rejoin. And this time you can use the test change microphone. What you're going to do is change a microphone to one that you can see some green energy in the left hand side. Just use the drop down, choose a different microphone and pick one where you start to see some energy and click close and join again. As the session proceeds, more and more people may join the session. You may want to get the attention of the teacher or moderator. You can do that by clicking raise hand. This will bring your name to the top of the list. And if you raise your hand, you may also have it lowered too by the teacher. You can see here that a moment the raise hand will disappear. As the session starts to begin, you'll see the presenter upload slides there. They appear in the center area and you can see where the presenter is moving their mouse around or what they're pointing at in the slides. They also have the ability to advance the slides and they also have the ability to annotate the slides as well. Here they're looking like they're checking the first two points in the slide. In some sessions you may also want to share your webcam as well. You can do so by clicking the share my camera icon in the upper left hand corner. And you'll have the ability to choose which web camera. Normally Flash will pick your default web camera, so there's nothing you need to change. Just click Start Sharing, and your web camera will appear in the lower left-hand corner. As others share their webcam, it also appears too in the video dock area. So here I'm kind of cheating. I'm just using the laptop next to me to share my webcam as well. You can control the layout as well. So if you move the windows around, you can go back to the default layout. You can also change the layout. Here's one that gives more emphasis to the webcams. And here's another layout that gives more emphasis to the presentation. And again, you can always go back to the default layout. Finally, in the upper right-hand corner, there are a couple more controls. You can choose the default language that Big Blue Button is displaying. You also can choose the shortcut keys, and that window will display a whole bunch of shortcuts that you can use to quickly navigate around the interface. There's a help button to get more help, and there's a logout button to log out. That's it. That's an overview of Big Blue Button. Big Blue Button is an open source web conferencing system for online learning. For more information, go to bigbluebutton.org.